Have you ever finished a game and for days, weeks, or even years, you just can't stop thinking about it? The game opens on darkness. Your eyes are drawn to the only color on screen, a little boy in a red shirt. The world is empty. It's dark terrifying. The only sound you hear are your own feet smacking on dirt, mud, and splashing through puddles until a car breaks the silence. Then, unlike every other game, not with a bang, but instead slow tension, the dogs are after you. If you mess up for even a second, that's it. I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, fuck. And this isn't a cutesy PG death. No, this is gruesome. You don't just fade to black and respawn, you are murdered. Over and over you watch as you are drowned, electrocuted, shot, bitten, pushed off cliffs, crushed, and beaten down by the world. The music and ambience are perfect at keeping you on edge at all times. No, 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 holy shit. Everything in this world sets a tone, a slight fear and pressure makes every decision count leading up to the moment you make a mistake and are punished by a visceral, gruesome death. The story is told without any dialogue, something games rarely get right. There is no quest log, no wise wizard sending you off on your quest. The way the game tells you its story leaves it entirely up to your interpretation. You don't know who you are, what your goal is, or why you're going on this journey, but thanks to the terrifying start of the game, you know that nobody is on your side. You are alone. As you progress, you see this abandoned, dreary world, a world with corporate mind-controlled slaves marching left to right. In a weird way, you're just like them, both marching towards an unknown future, but you're different. You resist, you overcome obstacles, challenges, and survive. The puzzles in the game are clever and surprisingly deep while still being simple to grasp. This accessibility makes them fun and not at all repetitive, despite most of the gameplay being walking, jumping, and simply pressing one button. This is largely due to the puzzles being slowly introduced as part of the story. New mechanics and ideas are thrown at you that make sense for the world. They don't reuse the same puzzle a dozen times, instead starting small and building mechanics onto mechanics, only adding new layers once you've mastered the first. Those corporate drones, you control them now. Figure it out while you die dozens of times brutally. And once you do figure it out, well, now you'll need to use one to control another and then control two dozen all at once. The game takes about two to three hours to experience, and I honestly believe it is best played in one sitting, building up all the tension, the fear, and excitement of overcoming challenges slowly until you get to the end. The music of the game swells as you play, pushing you towards something unknown, and ending just over the horizon. But the ending, oh my god, okay, skip to the time code if you don't want the ending spoiled. You were this tiny boy in a red shirt, running, hiding, and dying to everything, and then, bam. You're a giant meatball with arms and legs, crushing everything in your path. Oh, you guys are so screwed now. This shift is shocking, but it doesn't jump the shark in this world we've experienced so far. The satisfaction is amazing, crushing the men who chased you, beat and shot you, dogs barking at you, but they're now hopeless to actually hurt you. You smash through any resistance presented to you as you finally experience freedom and release the tension that has built up until now. And then, it's over. You're no longer trapped inside this colorless dark world. You can't run anymore. Nobody is chasing you. The first ray of sunlight you've seen in the entire game hits you. And it is this bittersweet feeling of sacrificing your sense of self to find freedom. Because you're no longer who you were when you started your journey. The fragile little boy in the red shirt is gone. But you made it outside. Wait, it's called inside, but you go outside. Oh my god, mom, mom. Five out of five.